little guy woke us up this morning. He was tapping on our skylight above our bed at like six in the morning. Look at him, he just looks like Yeah, he does look like a little bully. All right, good morning everybody. In today's video, we're going to Arle. It's a nearby town. Looks like it has really nice, ugh, I just tripped. <laughs> It looks like it has really nice architecture and uh, what I'm really excited about they have a very well-preserved amphitheater in the middle of the town. Our train leaves in 15 minutes and the train station is like a 20 minute walk from here so. Yeah, so we're gonna have to run a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna make it. There's a little bit of a walk, it looks like, into the city center from the train station. It smells kind of weird here. It does. It smells like cough syrup and like eggs that's kind of like it's very distinct not as nice as the chocolate smell in uh, the Netherlands <laughs> even though everyone jaywalks in Europe Tia hates to do it she always ends up why do you always leave me <laughs> So Tia was just reading that this city has been important for quite a while. Yeah, so it's important for the Celts, the, for the Greek, for the Romans, and then it's also really famous because this is where Van Gogh cut his ear off. A bird pooped on me. Twice. It's just, a, it's like overspray. <laughs> Thank you, love. This is why I keep you around. That makes it sound like I get pooped on all the time, but I don't. <laughs> One thing we've noticed in Europe, and this has been in every European country, is that they have these obelisks right here. Sorry, I just totally covered your face. <laughs> and they're just like everywhere. I'm not really sure what the history is, but they really seem to all enjoy building the obelisks. Uh, we have not done Tia for scale on any of them yet though, so I think we'll do that. That's Tia. I'm power walking away because <laughs> she doesn't like it when I do that. <laughs> She's trying to catch up. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> we found Probably one of Tia's most favorite things. It's a flea market. We're gonna be here for a while. This is a pretty big flea market. Wow, that's a really big market. And now I gotta go find Tia. This market also has a food area, so we're going to get something to eat. Is that for you? All right, thanks. So we got a peach, and I think that the guy felt bad that I wasn't getting anything, so he gave me bananas. Very nice of him. Uh, so you do have to pay to get into this amphitheater, and I think instead we're going to eat lunch. So behind us is a cafe where Van Gogh got in a fight with his friend. Yeah, after drinking a lot of absinthe. So, and then um, I guess shortly after that, he ended up cutting his ear off. We got goodies. 
So for seven euro. I got a cold pizza. I got a cold floppy pizza. <laughs> and then I got a um, ham and cheese quiche. And then this loaf of bread. Mini loaf. I'm not sure what it, it is. It looks sweet. How is it? We use some salt. That's definitely cold pizza. <laughs> and now for the part that Tia really cares about. Oh. Pretty good? It's like a sweet nut bread. So our a vending machine of canned olives that Tia's kind of mesmerized by. Don't you hate olives? Yeah. <laughs> but not from a vending machine. One thing that's really cool about all these little medieval towns, the little streets are like so narrow. Mm -hmm. And you have people hanging their laundry out the windows, and everything's colorful, and there are plants everywhere, and ivy, and flowers. This smells a lot better inside the town. This oh, yes, why I... yeah, update <laughs> on that. Yeah, it does smell a lot better. <laughs> It smells so good in here. <laughs> I love antique stores. It smells like old books. Fifty euros? No. -uh. I'm not gonna touch anything in here. Now time to look for our train tickets. Okay, so there's one leaving in 30 minutes. That should be good. Yeah, that like 30 good. minute walk, right? Mm hmm. It's so nice out today. All right, favorite part of Arle? The farmers market. That was the biggest market I've seen in a while. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, it went on for like half a mile. And that peach was so good. <laughs> the peach was very good. The free bananas were bruised, but they <laughs> were free, so that's nice. For me, I would say probably the market too, actually. Really? Yeah, the amphitheater oh. was cool, but uh, I don't know. I feel like we've seen a lot of ruins, which isn't that I, that I don't appreciate them uh -huh. and like them. It's just nice to mix it up every once in a while. Remember you said this next time we go to one. And you're like, oh, another market. Looks like there's some kind of protest or parade or something going on here. It says stop, so I'm guessing it's a protest. Yeah. We have to cross the street that they're protesting on, and there's like a lot of people. There's like thousands of people here. So as good as we can figure, that was a protest about this pass sanitaire. Mm -hmm. So in France, you have to have a secure code that's linked to you know your document, your health documents, and you need that to get into restaurants and bars and trains and museums, mm -hmm. and people are. Just that they were protesting it, so. Back in our room for the night, we're going to work out, cook dinner, and do all that boring stuff that no one wants to see. <laughs> so good night, everybody. Good night.
Key number two. Key number two, take number two. 